Hi, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to use an exceptional video editor called B-Cut. So before doing the actual recording, here are some of the things that you need to know about this program. Upon opening the program, the first window that will appear contains the ratio selection. This portion is where it allows you to select your preferred ratio for your project. Simply choose the one that you like and click it. After launching the program you'll now be heading into the tool's main platform. This video editor is composed of four major parts. The media panel where you can upload and manage the media files that you'll need for your project. The effects panel is where all of the functions that will add effects into your video are located, such as music, text, filters, overlays, transitions, as well as elements. Next is the timeline where your files will be placed to be able to start with the video editing. And lastly the preview panel, where you can view all of the adjustments that you do while editing the project. At the timeline you can also notice the various editing functions that can make your video editing easy. These functions include edit, cut, crop, zoom, mosaic, freeze image, duration adjustments, dubbing, and chroma cutout function. Another interesting function that this program has is the speech-to-text function. This function will allow you to easily convert your audio file into a text form, which you can use to make your video more understandable. On the other hand, this program also has a screen recording function that you can utilize in capturing something from your computer. It's indeed a great addition to the tool, since it can help you grab the necessary materials that you need in making your video project. Now that you already know the basic part of the editor, let's now do the actual video editing. To start with your video project, what you need to do is to make all of the necessary files available. So to do that, go to Media Panel, and then look for Import button, and then click Import File. Or you can import a whole folder as well. Simply look for the certain file, click it and then click open, your file will then be uploaded immediately. Next is to move the file into the timeline so that you can begin with the editing. To do this, you need to drag the file right into the timeline or click the plus icon. After that, you can add various things from the effects portion. You can easily add music by simply browsing from the numerous track provided and then hit the plus icon to add it into the timeline. As for adding captions, you can do it by clicking the text menu, and from here you can select from available text presets. Just click the plus icon once more to move the effects under the timeline, and you can place it anywhere you want. To modify the text, simply double-click it, and from the pop-up window you can select the style and motion you prefer. As well as the text font, size, color, etc. Same it goes with the filters, overlays, and so on. Just look for the one that you want, and then click the add icon to move them into the timeline. Kingdom. Oh, a structure like that can't protect In managing all of the files and effects that you put into the timeline, you can now rely on the video editing functions like the edit function. Just click this function to adjust the video settings color correction, as well as audio settings. The next one is the trimmer cut function. To use this, simply move the tracker into the place where you want to cut and then hit the scissor-like icon. In case you need to remove a certain part of a video clip, then you can do it by clicking the crop function. Just choose the clip to use, then select this function. From the window that will pop up, adjust a frame along the area that you need to keep, and then click the OK button to delete the unwanted portions. While the zoom function can be used to zoom into a certain part of the video, just select this button and then place the rectangular frame into the part that requires zooming. In case you want to hide something within your video clip, then you can utilize the mosaic function. To add this effect, you can click the video and then hit this function. 
Another window will appear now click add and then drag your frame along the area that you need to hide. The freeze function on the other hand will immediately create a still image of the certain scene that you selected. To use this, all you need to do is to move the tracker into a particular scene and then click freeze to duplicate the exact scene. To speed up or slow down the video can be done through the duration function. Just look for your preferred time and then click OK. Another editing function to use is the chroma cutout. To start the editing, click the video and then click the chroma cutout function and another window will then appear. Now, click the dropper icon and then click the green portion of the video from the preview panel. You'll notice that the effect is not perfect yet, so all you need to do is to make some adjustments, such as the upper and lower boundary, and edge feathering. When satisfied with the appearance click OK. Other functions that you can use include Audio Detach and Extract Subtitle. To do Audio Detach, just do a right click, and from the list select Audio Detach. The audio will then be ripped from the video right away. And for those who loves to add a subtitle, you can easily do it to your video by choosing Extract Subtitle. Aside from video editing, this program also has additional functions that will let you record your screen activity and convert your speech to text. Enable to record your screen, look for the record button located at the upper left portion of the tool, and then click it. Now a screen recording platform will then appear. Simply select the area that you need to record, and then click record. While recording, you can also add annotations as you wish. To end the recording, just hit the stop button and the recorded file will be opened inside the video editor. In converting audio into text, you can do it by clicking the file to convert and hit the speech to text function button to initiate the conversion. When you're satisfied with all of the process, you can now render your video project. Just look for the export button and click it, another window will appear, now key in the title that you prefer for the video. The output folder, video format, and quality. Now click the export button to proceed with the rendering process. And that's the brief guide on how to use B-Cut. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one.